The report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the new War of the Roses, which is the House of Windsor versus Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Stick around and listen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the new War of the Roses. I've been reading about them here, which is like the House of Plantagenet and Richard III and all these people. Yes, there's a kind of, um, you know, what I think is a kind of schism going on at the moment within the royal family itself. Where, and and I, 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 let me explain my opinions on the topic. I think Meghan Markle was sent um, to basically uh, capture Prince Harry in a way. And you can see the, some of the ways she's done this is, um, I mean, one of the things she says in the interview with Oprah, she says, oh, no, I didn't really know much about uh, Lady Diana. Then there's these pictures of her when she was a teenager. Basically, her whole bedroom was decked out with photographs of Princess Diana like she was a royal stalker. So obviously, this this is like a young girl who has been absolutely obsessed with the royal family, particularly Princess Diana. And then as she grew into a, a kind of an actress with some mild celebrity, she obviously really wanted to maybe meet Prince Harry and to, uh, basically, uh, obviously do what she's done, which is to basically become uh, the husband, uh, sorry, the wife of Prince Harry. And so she really wanted to get into the royal family. But I think the globalists have seen someone who's absolutely obsessed with Prince Harry and thought, oh, here's an opportunity, right? And so they've probably assisted her um, because uh, there was some kind of Jewish socialite who introduced, uh, if you look it up online, you can see it, there's a Jewish socialite who introduced Meghan Markle to Prince Harry and then they became a thing and then uh, she's using a kind of subtle kind of mind play. She's dressing like um, uh, Princess Diana all the time. So it's a kind of like subtle mind trick on Prince Harry. So I think the idea is was to send in Meghan Markle uh, as a kind of uh, globalist agent in a way, whether she's conscious or unconscious of that, we don't know. And then she seduces uh, Prince Harry and then takes him away from the House of Windsor, where now that she's brought him to LA, which is like a heart of a globalist stronghold in Hollywood, and there they're kind of attempting to destabilize the royal family. Obviously, you saw this to some extent with um, Jeffrey Epstein and um, uh, what's his name, Prince Andrew, where um, you know Epstein re really uh, seduced. Um, Prince Andrew and brought him along into essentially a kind of honey trap. I mean, you know, obviously uh, Epstein used to have like 20 year old hookers that he would hang out with and then, you know, he probably stuck in the 16 year old or whatever she was um, at, at a later stage. But the interesting thing about the fact that the globalists seem to hate the royal family, because often there's talk of the kind of cabal and stuff and the royal family is often put in there with everybody else, within the globalist cabal. But I think if you look at something like, um, say, um, I, don't, I don't know, how would, how, would you, how would you describe it? Um, say Brexit, for example, the royal family sided, sided with leave with Brexit. And um, so I think there is a kind of, um, you know, kind of schism between the globalists and the royal family. In the sense, the royal family are on the side of the nationalists or on the side of the good, basically. Even if they have done a few um, nefarious things or even if they have collaborated with the globalists in the past. So anyway, I believe this what's happened here is Megan Markle has been sent along to take Harry away to create this kind of like new War of the Roses. If you don't know your history, War of the Roses was a kind of war between the House of York and the House of Lancaster and it lasted about, you know, 50, 60 years of constant warring. It started with Henry uh, Henry VI, I think, and then Edward IV and then Richard III. There's this constant kind of animosity and fighting going on. It also led to different kinds of successions to who took the crown. Obviously, I don't think Prince Harry is going to be able to upset this succession, but I do think he's going to be able to poison the well and a uh, along with Meghan Markle and kind of like taint um, the royal family. And obviously that's what the, what was the purpose of the um, Oprah interview. So I think that's what we're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting kind of War of the Roses too. I just wanted to share your thoughts today on the report. And uh, what do you think of it all? Thank you for listening.